This video is going to be a little bit different since I'm going to talk about alchemy and the genesis and some of my thoughts and the basis. First of all, it's based on two different creation stories. The Gnostics, many believed in man's double nature, the celestial and spiritual, and the earthly and material nature. The Manichaeans called it the living self or luminous self. And Greek Christian Gnostics called it the spark or seed of light. And nowadays they use often seed of light. And in the New Testament and in the old Greek text, uh, it was always called pneuma or breath, or spirit. And that comes from Plato, Aristoteles, and Oritelius. Then I want you to look at some alchemists that are famous, the Arab races and the Greco-Egyptian Soisimos. And he, there are fragments of the text Sacred Art of Olympiodorus where he speaks about union with God, the Greco-Egyptian way. And uh, it's very similar to what the Kabbalists do. And in the Genesis, it's often the beginning that God creates by e expressing commands in words. And is expelling breath. And breathing is a vibration of the air. And in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God. And uh, that is the beginning. And that leads into some of what I'm going to talk about today. Or in this short little intro video, many have asked me why I think that the angel Yabamiya, sometimes called Yabamel or Tabamiya, uh, in the third year Goisha, it's he's called by in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth with one one. And uh, in the Hebrew version of the Kabbalah, they use Adonai is righteous in all his ways and gracious in all his words. And I have my own thoughts since I love working with Yabamiya. And it is that, that when you work around with the Shem angels, and you look at the powers of Yabamiya, you will soon understand the genesis here. Protects and regenerates. Reach to inner harmony, dominates philosophical knowledge, influences nature. And these are the third Yagoisha, the old ones. And the Kabbalistic is more like brings harmony and calm healing after turmoil, and spiritual recovery. And uh, life is like that. And when you work with the 72 Shem angels, then you will learn that you learn something new every time, working around the year with five degrees every time. And you learn your lessons but you also find inner peace. And I think that is, that's the true spiritual alchemy. And that's why Yabamiya is called in with Genesis 1. It isn't just about turning into philosopher's stones or the pure gold that I'm going to talk about in another video, but it is about the inner peace and finding that joy, that calm, knowing that there is something bigger than you, whatever way you call it, not held back by fundamentalism or 
political influence of what is right and that everybody should think in the same way. It's more about that peace within yourself, that people can have different thoughts. You don't have to agree with everyone. You can peacefully disagree and knowing who you are and uh, trusting. And that brings me into another thing I want to talk about before I go into in later videos. It is about my fascination with the sun especially and the planets and then my love for music and mathematics. And since I don't speak English mathematics, <laughs> as you can see here, I can't translate these words. And I've been looking, well, there are different dictionaries. But every one of them, you have to order them from some university or somewhere abroad. And, well, if you think remorse are expensive, you should look at dictionaries and encyclopedias in different languages. And um, I love science and maths. But I found this channel through my friend Ken Dixon, uh, Ken Rubenstein. And he's been doing that, what I've been talking about in my Nine Muses and the Music of the Spheres and those videos where I went into that, uh, that he can put into words and music what I'm trying to explain without having the words. I can understand what he's saying, but I can't express myself like that. And like I thought about that every sound has its own thing. And this is my old that I used to tune into my guitar in the 70s. When I played guitar. Uh, so, and that is the best thing. When you know somebody who has the musical gift and knows mathematics and can put things together. That's the true magic of life. And the sacred geometry, the sounds of the spheres, that is all that harmony, that beauty, that... And mathematics for me is order in chaos, and I love mathematics. Mathematics explains the whole universe for me. And when I call on the angels, and many angels can teach you mathematics and physics and science and music and so on. So I just thought that it was fascinating. And one of my dreams was once that I dreamt of it as a child, that all the sounds of the planets... And we now can measure up that there are these gas waves that go with different frequencies and so through universe and I dreamt that there was a book with music in the between the stars that played a melody throughout the whole universe and it was so beautiful the music and I since I was a child I've been trying to find music that fits and putting things together with math and uh, musical notes and the scales and trying out different things. So that is what I think that it is so good to learn from somebody who puts it out there, who can think for themselves, who can create music and who steps into it and don't wait for others' approval but just goes in there and does the math and does the own thinking and everything that is being unique and owning yourself and being the true self who you are. And that is why I was so happy when I found this channel. He has the Shiva tune and I put them on the community tab and the uh, Fibonacci and other things and when you look closely there are different videos on the mathematics there there is something special in there I have to re-watch them and have time I just uh, binged on them today 
So I have to take the time, think and uh, go into them. And then I will learn also some English mathematical terms. So I hope you will be inspired. And if you don't understand the mathematics, call upon a gem angel. They are very good at maths or music, depending on which you call or the archangels. They're all good. So that was all for now. And have a magical, magical day. Bye for now.